So now we're going to show you how to do the update for the trolling motor. And just to make this easier, I'm gonna go ahead and lay the trolling motor down so then we can see it. There it is, okay. So, well, yellow. All right, so, I agree. Leave it there, I'm gonna spin that around just for a second, because I wanna show you this. So, there it is on force, right there. So what you have to do to get it to do that is, all right, so right there it says stowed. Do you see it? I think you do, okay. So, you push this button here, you come down here to settings, trolley motor, Wi-Fi, and then it says active captain and mode. So I had it in, I forgot, I had it in chart plotter because I had linked it up with the chart plotter to, um, for it to be able to, for the, whenever I wanna go to somewhere, like say I want to go to a waypoint. Uh, I guess it has to be able to talk to the chart plotter. I don't know. But anyway, I come off of that and went to active captain. So now that I'm in active captain, I can go back home and I can open this up and watch. It shows up force. So now it's going to be linked to the force. So then I can come over here to... Now I can come over here to my Active Captain app. Connection successful. And I'm gonna to go to my marine devices. And it's gonna check it. I thought there was supposed to be one. Close. Should probably blur these unit IDs. Oh, look at that. Now it is going to do the update. So see, it's updating there. And then you come over here, and it doesn't show anything, but it, these lights here will black, flash in a minute. So now it says these are ready for install. I can't remember. I think I, there might be a button you have to push. So give me a second while I Google it. I just Googled how to install update to Garmin force trolling motor. I'm gonna step outside where there's a little service. All right, just like I thought, it says to power it off and then power it back on. So we're gonna turn it off. And then we're gonna count that one, that two, that three, that four, that five, that six, that seven, that eight, that nine, that ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, eight. And we're gonna turn it back on. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we can power it back on. Alright, so we're giving it some juice. Stowed right there for now. We'll check to see if it's doing a little blinky blinky lighty lighty flashy flash. It ain't yet, but it's supposed to. There it goes. So now it is installing the new update. See the little flashy, flashy lights? So after it gets completed on the Active Captain app, then this here. So it says stowed. Sometimes you turn this off, it might show a little thing on this thing here. I have seen that happen.
So let's see what's going on right here. So it has powered itself off. Updating some more. Well, it's updating this here. It says not connected. Oh, now look. I don't know if you can see this or not. It says install and update. It has a countdown for, looks like a few seconds. So, installing update. What's that look like? So that there looks good. So I guess it's installed in the head of that. This here is installing. And now it's got a little funny little signal. Hello, driver. And that there's doing its thing. We need some music, don't we? Hello. Hello. Um, Mama said she needs a bag of corn. Well, get that woman some corn. be a big update. Oh, I think it's done. Check on it here. That's done something different. That there up there looks all good. This here looks good. Now let's check it about software version 4.0. So, everything looks good. I don't think they have any other software versions. I wish that you could power, by turning this off, you could power your trolling motor off. That'd be cool. So, turning my remote off. All right, so now it says Vessel is up to date. So, yay. Go for a stop capture. And that is how you keep your vessel up to date. As you can see, it's pretty simple once you get everything figured out. And because there's just not a lot of updates, um, you may have to go back and use the Google to remember how to finalize the updates. But as long as you remember to keep it connected, uh, your Wi-Fi whenever you're updating your chart plotters, to have it connected through Wi-Fi, they will update. And then um, to do the Garmin Force trolling motor, you have to connect to the Garmin Force trolling motors um, Wi-Fi network. And then you can use that through the Active Captain app. But if you have any questions, leave a comment. And that's it for this video.